I've used everyday math since it started. And you really have to read it. You have to do your homework. You have to know what the lesson is about and knowing exactly what materials you need to get ready and have a successful lesson. Very good. Well, like I said, we're going to start our day with math today. So I have to tell you a story, okay? A story? A story, okay, so. yeah. You know what, I love red velvet cake. It's one of my very favorite cakes in the whole world. And to have it in my house is not a very good thing because I'll want to eat it. So I had a red velvet cake though, just a little one. And I had one little piece of it. So the next day I was gonna go back and have another little piece of that red velvet cake. Guess what? It was gone. It was gone. Mr. Raymond ate the whole thing in a day. <laughs> was that very fair? No. no. No, I got one little piece. Did he fairly share with me? No. No, he didn't. Well, today, boys and girls, we're going to learn about fair shares and about having things equal on each side. What do you think that means to be equal? Like split things. Ah, oh, all right. Well, we're gonna get started with our math lesson. And to get started at our seat, you all will need your whiteboard and pens, and you need to get your books along the way. Can you do that, please? Yep. Thank you. Yep. Well, boys and girls, we are going to take a look at some base 10 blocks. And they're hidden underneath this piece of paper here. And your job is to estimate how many base 10 blocks you think are there. I'm only giving you three seconds to look, okay? You need to write that number down in your whiteboard. Are you ready? Okay, better start looking. Okay, wow, let's see. Excellent job. What number was there? 24. Way to go, way to go. Let's try another one. This one's gonna be really hard. Okay, okay, ready? One, two, three, four, okay. Okay, Remember, you're making an estimate, so it's a guess about as close as you think you can get. Okay. Are we ready? Are we, let's see. I see some good estimates. Let's try. Let's count them out. Are we ready? Let's start with our longs. Everyone, can you help me? 10, 20, 30, Good. You were. Excellent job. All right. Are we ready? We're going to do one more. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Look. Oh, we got some good estimates. Let's take a look. Let's count. 18. Everyone count with me. 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. There you go. Good job. All right. Can everyone erase their whiteboards, please, and put the covers on your pens? Thank you. Excellent. Well, last night for homework, boys and girls, you had a home link to do. And I want to go over that home link with you. Your job was to circle each shape that showed equal parts. In problem one, we had to look at halves. Who can tell me which one is in halves? Lassia, can you come up and show us? And can you write in the fraction?
Nice job, Lassia. Excellent, thank you. And number two, we had to show sixths. Which one is in sixths? Can you come up, Angelo? <coughs> nice work. You labeled them carefully. Can you circle it? Okay. Thank you. Number three is in fourth. Sarah, which one do you think's in fourths? The kite. The kite, hmm. What do you think about that kite, boys and girls? Who agrees with Sarah that the kite is in fourths? Is anyone? What's the problem with the kite? What's the matter with the kite? Matthew? It is in an equal share. It's not an equal share. So which one is an equal share? Will? The, I don't remember what it's called. Can someone help Will? What's that called? Luke? I just remembered. I just remembered. Will, go ahead. The diamond. OK. And so this is in fourths. Do you know how to write the fraction for a fourth, Will? Come on up. Good job. I like how you're writing small. Excellent. Thank you. So here we had to label each part that had equal shares. Very good.